Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Operation Frostbite, the Commonwealth in France. What are we in here now? Uh, July 38. 38S.4. Okay, one quick housekeeping thing. A mistake I made with the French on the last turn. Uh, those two battleships right there. I moved them four spaces when I couldn't do that. Uh, two plus one for the major port for a total of uh, three was their maximum movement. So I pulled them back one C zone to 79. Okay, now we get on with the rest of it here. The Commonwealth is going to try the same uh, tech rolls they did last time. Long range aircraft and improved construction. Both seven or higher. And look at that, we got a seven and a 12. So, move both of those techs over to stage two. I, I think that was uh, it was pretty damn good rolling. All right, now let's look at the buys. The builds. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Okay, this time uh, the Commonwealth is not going to do, or the British are not going to do uh, a turkey roll. Uh, they have other things, other priorities. Great Britain started with 20 pounds in the bank, which they've spent on two fighters. FEC had uh, their seven rupees. They're doing the same build as last time. One Gurkha, one infantry that spends all of their money. Anzac started with uh, $10. They're spending six on another submarine. And they're going to spend four to finance... Uh, port upgrade. Canada has elected to save their six dollars for another day. All right. Uh, there's no combat because they're not at wartime income yet. And there's going to be just a little bit of combat movement, not a lot. This fighter from Northern England is rebasing down here to the Midlands. Come around this way. Everything's staying the same over there. Tip up a little bit, back out just a hair. There we go. This transport and destroyer we're moving one space up here to C zone 29. They're going to hang out uh, in Vancouver for a bit. Or, yeah. All right, that is. Yep, that's it for non-combat movement. So, let's get to placing units. Back out just a touch. Come around here and get the stuff. Uh-oh, I knocked somebody over. Okay, here we go. Get everybody for this part of the world down under. Okay, the Anzac submarine goes here in C-Zone 146. The, uh, yep, we can see it. Out here at the Solomon Islands, Anzac has spent four, as I said, to upgrade this uh, minor port to a major. 
then over here in uh, FEC, I don't think there's any big surprise here. The Gurkha, once again, will go to Burma. The infantry this time is going to the minor factory in Calcutta. And that will do it for there. Come over here. Uh oh, I forgot a non combat. Look at that. Trying to screw things up. We can fix that real quick. This artillery uh, from Ottawa is moving one space out here to the Maritimes. Which is that? Let me turn over this way. And the two fighters. Oh, just because there's more space available, are getting built there in northern England. All right. That looks like that. Let's uh, get some money over here. Get my money pulled out here. Okay, the British are still collecting uh, 15 pounds. So that's what they're going to have for next turn. Anzac is still getting their seven. So that's what will be in their bank. Or FEC. I think I said Anzac by mistake. Anzac is collecting their $5. And Canada picks up two more, giving them eight in total. All right, I'll be back in a minute with France. Okay, here we are with France. Uh, they're going to try long-range aircraft once again. Seven or better. Missed with a five. All right, over here to the production chart. Yeah, we can see pretty good. Uh, they started with uh, 10 francs in the bank. They're gonna spend two plus one on that turkey roll. They are going to spend two on a militia upgrade, that's uh, five, and they're gonna spend four to lend lease an AA gun to Chiang Kai-shek and his Kuomintang. That's a total of nine, they're saving one franc. So, now France, uh, has kind of a special lend lease, like uh, the Soviets are able to lend lease to anyone. Uh, the French can lend lease to any nation that is at war with a major power. KMT is at war with Japan, so the lend lease is legal. All right, in Turkey, we're looking for four or less. I missed it with a six. So that extra IPP gets added to the bank in Istanbul, which I now show the Turkish bank at uh, 12, is what, what I had. All right, so there's going to be just a bit of non-combat movement, not a lot, just a little bit. We'll start right here. Uh, these two battleships in C Zone 79 are going to move two spaces up here to C Zone 49. And they're going to patrol the uh, Mediterranean off of Marseille. Then this way there we go 
the submarine in C zone 138. He's going three spaces to C zone 127. Gonna hang out there around the Solomons. And I'm just making sure. Yep, that's it for French movement. Okay. Let's spin around this way. As you might guess by the uh, camera placement there. The militia in Syria is the one that's being upgraded. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. Little dog emergency. We have a Boston Terrier that has uh, occasional seizure problems. Apparently she's having one right now. Uh, anyway, this is uh, July 38, which means the Burma Road is now open. So, the uh, French dispatched their Lend-Lease uh, along the circuitous route through the Med, around the Suez Canal, across the Indian Ocean. Uh, they have permission from FEC to land it here at uh, Rangoon and then via the Burma Road and railway and so forth up here to the Generalissimo's forces in Yunnan. Okay, I believe that's, oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna screw this up this time. Uh, I am going to remember to do Abyssinia's recruitment role on camera. Let's just go do that right now. We'll come over here to this dice tray. All right, Ab uh, Haile Selassie is looking for the the big one. And he just missed it with a two. Okay. So no recruitment there. The French need to get their money. As I said, they saved one. Their income is still 10 francs. So they will have 11 in the bank. All right, real quick. Let's look at this tech chart. There you see where things stand. Now the British did pretty good for themselves. The French, I mean, they only get one roll, so I guess they're doing about as well as can be expected. Uh, the United States, for the number of dice they're rolling, is their, their performance is pretty pathetic. Okay, there's where the Soviets stand. On the common turn chart. Over here, we've got the axis. Not much has changed there. Their dice have gone cold too. There's the updated income chart. Japan is slowly pulling away from everybody. Uh, the, the Commonwealth and the United States and France have all uh, stagnated. None of the Axis powers are uh, doing anything to trigger any income increases there. KMT, as I'm sure you all know, is down to just uh, one. Yunnan is the only territory they have left that's worth anything. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, Hambone HQ will be up next, filling in for Mr. Scrubber, who uh, is away playing in the woods, getting trained by Uncle Sam. So uh, check out the Italian video. 
Ozark Outpost. Over and out.